Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here, and today I'm gonna show you guys my setup for filming overhead shots. Before we get into exactly what products I'm using, let me just kind of go over the setup. I have two light stands on each side of this rollable adjustable height desk. I have four foot tube lights on each side of the desk, camera mounted on this boom arm on this C stand. Now this is close to about a four foot desk. It is on wheels and the wheels have locks, can be adjusted in height. You have to manually raise it and tighten the screws. Now to hold up the tube lights on the sides, I do have these very affordable light stands and I definitely recommend putting sandbags on the bases. And since these tube lights are not very heavy, these light stands do the job. Now I have two four foot tube lights on each side directly in the center of the table and I have them mounted horizontally. This allows me to have an even spread of light on each side to drastically minimize shadows on my hands or the products. Now I have multiple tube lights though. Here I'm using the Nanlite PavelTube 30C. These are a few years old and don't have native Bluetooth capability to be controlled with an app. In order to control these older lights with an app, you have to use this Nanlink box to connect to the lights and then this connects to either an Android or an Apple device though the newer versions of the Nanlite tube lights have native connectivity via Bluetooth, the X version or the Mark II versions. Nanlite makes several different mounting options for the Pavel tubes, though this is their more affordable and simple version that allows you to either mount them horizontally or vertically. And these do work with standard T12 tube lights, so not just for Nanlite. Now, when it comes to the camera, I'm using either the Sony a7 IV or the Sony a7S III. And for product video, I think the Tamron 28 to 75 G2 lens is actually one of the best, not only because of the zoom range, but also because it has a very minimal focus distance. So if I'm shooting something a little bit more wide or something tighter, I can easily make the adjustments here. For overhead shots, it's best not to have a super wide aperture. So f2.8 is great, or oftentimes I'll stop down to f5.6, f7, and then just increase the output power of my lights. Now I have the overhead camera mounted onto the Komodo K5 fluid head, and then that is screwed onto this boom arm here. Now before I get into the boom arm, let's talk about the C-stand. I'm using a newer C-stand, and I do have it on newer casters, so that way I can easily roll it around in the studio. At the top of the C-stand, I do have a boom arm with grip head so that I can make sure I get the ideal angle that I want. Now I do have a sandbag here more on the middle where the actual C-stand is. Normally you want the sandbag a little further back so you can balance out the boom arm, but because that camera setup is not very heavy, I don't really need a lot of weight over here. So the sandbag is not so much for balance, more so for stability and weight. Now something that's not really necessary but definitely makes a difference is this arm here made by iFootage with these spider crab clamps this is giving me a little bit more support on the boom arm so it minimizes shaking or any vibrations. iFootage has a whole lineup of spider crab mounts and clamps and these work incredibly well. This setup is pretty minimal and can be pretty much set up anywhere. It takes up a small footprint but still allows you to have very high quality. So there you guys have it. That's my setup for overhead shots. It's actually a pretty simple setup that's easy to put up and take down and it doesn't take a big footprint. You get very clean, even lighting and have a very stable setup for your camera. If you guys are interested in getting any of the gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.